My name is Susie Ungerleider. I do a musical project called Oh Susanna, and I've been doing that since 1996. <laughs> Welcome. Well, maybe not giggly. It's so nice that you're here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to blush. I decided I wanted to do the show on my birthday and and a lot of people knew that it was my birthday and of course it's Toronto so I have a lot of friends and family who were in the audience and it was really nice coming out on stage and having everybody sing and then people sang at the end of the night too which was beautiful. <laughs> she said days like these are mostly built for coffee and for dreams. I don't know, just, I felt like I wanted to make it this kind of birthday party, festive vibe. And I think it was special because I had been going through all the treatment and then I think people felt like this is a celebration, that that's over. And so then I'm going to get all cry, cry. <laughs> For the first part of my life, I spent a lot of time in school and being very rational about things and learning, studying things in a very methodical way. And writing music, I could incorporate that, but then also connect with this emotional part of myself. And it's just brought me to this whole community, and that's why I made the record. You got your ways, you got your Special way. I started out trying to do something by myself and then it brought me closer and closer to other people. Beautiful in your beautiful way. For many years I've been thinking about putting an album out of songs by people I know. I started working on this project with Jim Bryson who's also playing in the band. He's playing keyboards and guitar and he produced the album and it was actually his brilliant idea to ask the songwriters to write a song, especially for the record. Jim said that he would ask all the writers, <laughs> and I was, because I was embarrassed. I didn't really want to ask anybody because it seemed like a huge favor. People really wanted to do it. Some people, felt intimidated by it, which I thought was really interesting. People did really take it seriously and give us some really amazing songs. Kickstarter! That's pretty good, how are you? This album was funded by friends and fans and family and reaching out to people. At first you think, oh, I have, I'm doing this used car salesman kind of shtick. And then as it goes on, you feel like this feeling of support. Ruben de Groot is a songwriter from Kingston, Ontario, and I thought I would ask him to do a song for the record. And Savings and love. And the one that he did, also I felt like it was a song that I could maybe even write, or that it would be something that I would normally sing. Jay Harris also is from Kingston and he's an amazing songwriter. The band I'm playing with are the core members of the band that's on the album. So it's Jim Bryson and then young Eli Abrams. He's an old soul who, you know, I would never imagine that he was 24, but he is. Caroline Brooks is from The Good Lovelies, and Cam Drew, who's my husband, who usually plays with me in, in my band. We've been married about 11 years. I think that it's been really interesting because I've been working with Cam for kind of right when we got married. It's, it's very special to have him play. He's eternally positive, which is amazing. And, and he's a really great drummer. He's a really great musician, an amazing singer. It's a very close 
bond when you play music with people and and so it just reinforces the bond that we have already. How you doing, Ron? Yeah, good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I asked Ron to write a song for the record and he did it in about two hours. <laughs> We were really lucky because Ron Sexsmith happened to be not touring and he lives quite close to where we were doing our show and he said he would come down and play Wait Until the Sun Comes Up with us. And that song was really special because I stayed up all night waiting for uh, to get my son into the summer camp and I'd watch the sun come up in Trinity Bellwoods Park. It was this beautiful sunrise in April. And then I went home and I, for some reason, opened my emails, and there's Ron's song, and it says, wait until the sun comes up. And I'm like, I just did that. Right when we were almost finished the album, um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and that was really, of course, um, kind of devastating and, and very, uh, after this you know, joyous collaboration and creation, it felt really strange to have this kind of crazy health issue happen. And, I had to tell everybody because they had funded the project and I was like, oh, I have to explain what's going on. <laughs> and that was the worst thing about, I mean, it was one of the things that I really didn't want to do. I didn't really want to tell anybody. It just felt like such a, a weird thing to tell people. But then it turned out to be the best thing to do is to tell as many people as you can because, um, then they can help you, or then they can understand what's happening, and, and then you can have people support you. You don't really know how amazing people can be <laughs> until you tell them something like that. And so that was, that was amazing. Like I just felt like all these people were like, we're gonna hold you up. So that was amazing.
Very flabby. I hope it's coherent.